All right, this is my home for the next like 47 hours according to Google. I could have sworn the drive was 30 hours. For some reason I remember 30 hours, but 47 hours. Uh, it's gonna be a long few days. I'm gonna drop off my keys. Uh, then Headed to Boston. <laughs> All right, just got on to uh, Highway 18. Just barely merged onto the highway, taking this to 90. And that's like, I don't know, half an hour away maybe. And then once I'm on 90, I'm taking that all the way to Boston. So I'll probably get off 90 here and there to avoid some tolls and shit. Um, but yeah, so 18 is only like 10 minutes from my apartment. It was a little more today because it's getting into the afternoon, so there's more traffic, but um, yeah, just getting started here, so. Do a quick little maneuver there. And uh, yeah, we'll see how the old cross track does on gas. It's supposed to get like 29 on the highway. Um, but I'm probably pushing the GVWR, so we'll see how it does. Um, but anyway, just get started, so we'll update you in a little bit. Alright, made it to Route 90. Making good time, only 46 and a half more hours, and uh, we'll be there. So, that's all I got for now. I'm on Route 90. Uh, I'm gonna drive, I'm gonna keep driving. Welcome to Idaho, suck a Washington, I'm done with you. Alright, one state down. Uh, what time is it? 7.35, so I've been on the road about 5 hours, so roughly 42 more to go. Quarter to nine, six hours in, I'm heading up a pass in Idaho. It's 36 degrees out and it's snowing. I don't know if that'll show up on the GoPro as it slides around my dash. Ooh, Montana. Hello, Montana. Goodbye, Idaho. Hello, Montana. Alright, I'm at a rest stop, listening to some pretty serious tunes, gonna make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I thought I was 8 hours in, but the phone is updating for time zones, and I'm in a different time zone I guess, so I'm 7 hours in, um, I didn't realize Montana or at least this soon into Montana. It was a different time zone, but I'm gonna go throw this garbage away and get back on the road. All right. 
it's one in the morning. I'm in Butt, Montana. I just stopped for gas. got my McDonald's way overdue I'm gonna house one of these real quick and get back on the road um, it's 8 36 uh, Pacific time so 10 36 wherever the hell I am so 18 hours just about um, it looks like it's almost 30 to go still, so. Um, I think once it gets into the afternoon a little bit, I'm gonna pull over, try and take a nap again, but until that happens, I'm gonna keep driving. So, we'll update you in a little bit. I think I was like overheating in here because there's no ventilation. Yeah, it's 29 degrees outside right now. It's a brisk, it's a brisk day in uh, old North Dakota, don't you know? And I laid here while sat here with the window like completely open and a breeze blowing on me for most of the time I was there. So I think just like getting some fresh air and that 15, 20 minutes or whatever of sleep that I got. Still feel pretty tired, but not like I did. So, uh, yeah, back on the road. You guys see this? It's the biggest fucking cow I have ever seen in my life. North Dakota is full of surprises, as long as those surprises are fields and cows. I think it's actually friggin' huge. I thought it looked big from further back, but that thing is huge. That's what she said. Hey -o! stopped at a rest stop um i kind of wish i just waited a half an hour because i'm going to stop at mcdonald's and fill up gas um like 30 miles down the road all right guys quick update i'm about three and a half hours away from chicago uh it's 12 30 right now um, 
about 10.30 Pacific time, so 12.30 whatever, Central time, I think, I'm not really sure. Um, so we should get through Chicago before rush hour. Good morning, everybody. Um, I got to the rest stop last night, or a rest stop last night, and I crashed hard. Um, uh, I've been back on the road for maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, something like that. Uh, it took me a little while to fall asleep, but once I did, man, I was out for a few hours, like four hours, something like that. Um, so, you know, still got a full night's sleep, a lot better than what I was doing. I was, uh, I was getting pretty tired last night. So, so that's good that I got some sleep. It's not good that there's still a 15 hour drive. Almost to Chicago, probably an hour outside of Chicago, I think. Um, probably be going through there the tail end of rush hour at 7 o'clock now. Well, maybe during rush hour. So, I don't know if I'm in Illinois yet, but if not, I'm getting close. Um, so, I'm just going to say I'm in Illinois. I'm starting going through some tolls. That's the first toll I went through. Um, I got to remember this. 5551 South, 13 miles ahead. Uh, so where am I? South of 51. Oh shit, I wish there was a mile marker somewhere. Where's there a mile marker? East on Route 90. Mile 4 and a quarter. Alright. Probably in Illinois then, because I think the first toll I was going to be is in Illinois, so see you later, whatever state I was in, and hello Illinois. For my own reference, toll reference, pay online. Don't forget. I was honestly surprised I never had tickets show up in the mail when I moved up to Washington because I could have sworn I didn't pay all the tolls, but nothing. Hey, it's me, Chicago. That's right, I'm sentient. Hey, come on down to Chicago, get yourself some deep dish pizza. We uh, did our own thing, so we stole pizza from New York and made it worse. It's totally not pizza soup in a bread bowl. Hey, it's me, Chicago again. We just want to let you know, you've probably noticed that we have a lot of tolls around in Chicago. Uh, we want to let you know that that money is not going to fix the roads. We don't know where that money goes, but we do know it does not go to fix the roads. So, thank you for using our toll road system, and fuck you. Alright, I'm in Ohio, I guess. I've been in Ohio for a while. Um, so anyway, I'm in Ohio, where we got left? 10 hours left, 724 miles. I'm tired. 
tired enough to sleep a little bit now, so I slept for a few hours and rest off. Uh, I don't even know what time, but I've been driving for probably 40 minutes uh, since. So I'm still in Ohio. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Oh, thank you. I was going to take 90 through New York, uh, but this is the way the GPS took me. I think it only saved me like three minutes, which over like 12 hours is basically nothing, but uh, that's just the way, it, the way it figured it out. So. stretch my drive here I got 20 minutes left I'm off the highway so I think I'm gonna wrap it up here uh, we got the PCT coming up I'm heading out to San Diego in two weeks so I'll look forward to that uh, but until then thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one